Verify the dipstick is fully seated. For the OEM service manual, it says to start and let run for several minutes and then turn off and wait for five minutes. And this is the part that people are missing, is not waiting long enough to let the oil drain back down. So we're going to check it immediately and check it at each minute and see how much it changes and show you that here in the video. All right, Sam, go ahead. We let it run for about six minutes. After shutting off the machine, remove the dipstick, wipe it off, set it back on the threads but do not thread it in. Then remove and inspect your level. As you can see here, it's a typical dipstick. Between those two black arrows on metric motorcycles is approximately a half a quart. So if you're at the bottom and you want to get to the top, you add half a quart of oil. You can see here we're just under a quarter of a quart overfilled, if you will, from checking the dipstick right after shutting it down. This is a big reason why you need to give it time so that it can lower to the proper level. Check it out. All right, five and a half minutes. I think we're good here to duplicate the manual. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, when we let it sit the full five minutes, the sump tank dropped down so that the dipstick showed the appropriate level here, which was about a quarter quart of an oil that it reduced itself, or 250 cc's, 250 milliliters, if you will. So this is why it's so important to give it time to know that you're at the correct level. You have to follow the manual's recommendation how much time to sit and wait. I'll just summarize this by saying your best practice is going to be to use the owner service manuals to verify on your make and model how to actually check your oil. I mean, most bikes are straight up and down, but then we got Harleys, we got bikes that actually intentionally do it on the side stand. We got dipsticks that are down low with sump tanks, and we got dipsticks that are up in the frame. Just uh, read through your procedures, it's gonna be your best practice. I, typically, I said that this is about half a quart on metric bikes. Harleys, you typically have a quart, but read the manual. Just think about that. Make it a great day, keep wrenching, and we'll see you again soon. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.